In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create water splash animation along with morph transition. The morph transition which is available in Office 365. You can see there is an image which I have added from the internet and when I click it will show you the first option the water splash and then it will show you me the second one with different colors then the third one and then the fourth option. Now I have added the morph transition on top of it so when I click the water drops come from the top. So let's see how we can create this slide in PowerPoint. I have downloaded these four images, the PNG file from the internet. You can see this is the water splash and then uh, there's one more PNG file and then two uh, water drop images I have downloaded. I'm going to use all these four images. First go to the new slide go to the format background and change to gradient fill and here you can see i have used dark blue and light blue the dark blue at the bottom and the light blue on the top and i'm going to copy this image to this to my new slide and extend this to the end of the to the right side and if required you can reduce the size Go to insert shapes, select a rounded corner rectangle, and make it no outline and fill the color with white. Then I'm going to use the water splash image, copy this image and place it here, reduce the size. I'm going to duplicate this image one more time. Select the image and press Ctrl D. And I'm going to cut this image into two. For that go to insert shapes, select a rectangle. Draw the rectangle covering half of the, the splash. Then select the splash and the rectangle. Go to format, merge shape say fragment and you can delete the unwanted uh, image you can see this image has been cut into two parts I'm going to delete this image go there and keep it on the top and this also you attach it and then send this image to back. Make sure that it is aligned properly. If you want to increase the size or... So this is uh, my one option is ready now. Maybe the size is somewhat big, I'll reduce it. And then I'm going to add the text like option, the title, you can add it. Use any font, uh, in this case I'm going to use the Os Oswald. And I'm going to give some coloring to it. For that use the eyedropper and give the same color of this and give some detailed description to that. So I'm just going to use a Latin text and you can replace uh, your own text here. Reduce the font size and the font color you can change it. And you can 
group all these images press ctrl G and duplicate it make it uh, four different options align it properly you can see there is a small gap there so just align it so that there should not be any gap there And I'm going to give some different color go to format color and choose some different color here and you can press F4 key to give the same the repeat of the same color for this I'm going to give maybe something a green and the last one you can choose any color and then change the number to 3 4 now it's time to give animation first ungroup it you have to ungroup all or you can select one by one or you can select all and just say ungroup instead of doing one by one so go to animation animal the animation pane select the water splash and give a wipe effect wipe effect say from top and then select this one same wipe effect and this you make it with previous and you can delay to 0.25 seconds now if you see here comes like this then group the text and give the same a wipe animation effect wipe say from left and this should happen after previous and if you have the icons you can just copy the icons I'm just going to copy this icon paste it here and for this also you can give a different animation select basic zoom and this also should happen with previous so let's see this is okay now you have to just copy the using the animation painter the animation to other all the other objects so like I'm just going to select the animation painter apply it here second so select this image animation painter apply to this and then group this one and select this animation painter likewise you have to do it all and you can do uh, different icons also you can add different icons also there now it's time to give some morph animation or transition select the droplets go here paste it and select any of this go to format crop one maybe I'm going to select this particular or uh, drop water drop go 
this is the technique uh, used by one of the youtuber and he's my friend from one skill so i'm just going to use his methodology reduce the size Now make as many as uh, duplicate droplets you want. So I'm going to make three layer. This is the first layer. Press Control D. Just place it above the slide, make it 15, 20 or more. You can place randomly any place you want. So I'm going to select all, group it, you can make a duplicate one more and you can group all the droplets together. So this is the first droplet, make it one group, then select one more droplet which will be the bigger size than the first one. So I'm going to select this droplet. So the size will be bigger than the first one. Again, make it by using Ctrl D, make duplicates and add seven or eight or nine. Now select all the bigger ones and you have to group it. So place at the right place. Press Ctrl G to duplicate. So this is my second layer now. Now I'm going to add one more layer which is the third layer and the size will be much more bigger than the second one. If you want to use you can use the other one also but I'm just going to use the these droplets again crop it increase the size and then you can go to form uh, effects artistic effects and select blur and add four or five and place it at different positions and holding the control key select all the bigger one press control G so you can see I have got three different level of water drops the first being very small the second the medium and third is a big one uh, with a blur effect now I'm going to select the slide, right mouse click and say duplicate slide. Go to animation, remove all the animation from the second slide. Then select the first layer and bring it down.
then select the second layer bring this also on top of the slide so this will give you some kind of a 3d effect and the third one place it here and go to transition and select morph remember that this option is available transition available only in office 365 and increase the duration maybe 4.5 seconds select the first slide and let's see how it looks when i click it will show you the option one it will show you the option two three and four and when i click you can see that one the droplets are coming down and again it will go back if you click back it looks cool isn't it That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university, see you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.